Set. In our everyday lives, we come across different collections of objects, like a set of hand sanitizers, a set of cutlery, a set of books, a set of furniture. Understanding what consists of a set and what does not comes vital in solving more complex problems. Hence, a good foundation is necessary. My name is Chukukato Lope Obu, and I'll be taking you on sets. When a collection of distinct objects is clearly described so much so that we are able to tell if an object belongs to it or not, we call such a collection a well-defined collection, or more simply put, a set. Set in mathematics means a well-defined collection of objects. Each object of a set is called a member or element of the set. A pair of braces is used to designate a set with the members listed or written inside the braces. The braces mean the set of or the set whose members are. A set is often represented by a capital letter. For example, A is a set of all counting numbers less than 9. To write this, we put A, capital letters, equal to open braces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, close braces. The element of a set or set membership. The epsilon symbol E is used to denote that an object is a member of the set. The number, the epsilon number, the epsilon symbol that is crossed out is used to denote that an object is not a member or element of the set. For example, if B is a set of all odd counting numbers less than 9, then we can write capital letter B is equal to open braces 1. 3, 5, 7, closed braces. To show that 5 is an element of B, we write 5 element B. To show that 4 is not an element of B, we write 4 not element B. Set relationship. Sets which contain exactly the same elements are called equal sets. For example, we have B equals to 1, 3, 5, 7, and C equals to 7, 5, 3, 1. This means B and C are equal sets. The elements may be written in any order as long as each element are equal and represented. An equivalent set are sets which contain the same number of elements. For example, if we have B equals to 1, 3, 5, 7, and D equals 1, 2, 3, 4. This means B and D are equivalent sets. The elements may be different, but the number of elements are the same. Kind of sets. Sets may contain no elements, one element, a definite number of elements, or an unlimited number of elements. The empty set or null set. These are sets with no elements represented by the symbol not or by a pair of empty braces. Note that the set zero in braces is not an empty set because it contains the zero element. That's the number zero. Finite set. Sets that contain a limited number of elements, even a sequence, but with a finite end as seen below. Example, open braces two, four, six, eight, dot, 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 1,200, close braces. The dot, dot, dot signifies infinite, but when it ends with a finite number such a set is still seen as finite 
infinite sets sets that contain an unlimited number of elements usually it's noted with three dots in a bracket ending a sequence for example we have one three five seven dot 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 with no other number ending this set such is said to be infinite in summary set in mathematics means a well-defined collection of objects each object of a set is called the member or element of the set sets which contain exactly the same elements are called equal sets sets which contain the same number of elements are called equivalent sets sets may contain no elements one element a definite number of elements or an unlimited number of elements for ball practice, yeah, we have some exercises. Thank you.